In the new Kingdom Hearts 2.8 final trailer, one of the most hype inducing segments is the reveal of the return of customization. So today I'm not going to waste any time, we're going to get into a small analysis and speculate on the many functions and cool ways this will be integrated into the game to hopefully add more playtime and of course enjoyment to the whole experience overall. In the menus we see an option called objectives. This is actually a new addition to the menus and it may imply there is more to do than just of course progressively work our way to the end of 0.2. This could also mean things like new special enemies, potentially time attacks, and survival objectives. Plenty of good stuff to make the game feel longer than it actually is. So maybe this is how we will get our hands on these new customization items. Speaking of which, these items are obviously broken into categorizations of head, arms, back, pattern, and color. But to go even further with my point earlier on the objectives, we can see the orange flickering new that usually pops up in Kingdom Hearts games to the right of some of the customization items, with some even outright missing. So that's just further evidence these items must be found in per se chests or earned via side objectives, which I'm so stoked for this and I'll speak on that in a bit. We also have the return of the RGB color system with the inclusion of patterns and palettes and little kind of saving things and stuff for, you know, costumes that you create so that that way in case you forget whatever you put on your aqua and of course let's say you change something you can actually just jump back to the costume that you had before while we haven't seen of course too much of this stuff because square enix doesn't put this stuff in kingdom hearts for some reason i don't know why square get square be fair dog square be fair there are nice gesture or are they y'all know what time it is dog that k8 speculation time so, of course, we know that 0.2 is pulled from Kingdom Hearts 3. From the way Nomura has explained it time and time again, it sounds like it was directly pulled from Kingdom Hearts 3. So, what if this is obviously a test to see fans' response to something like this being inside the K8 series? Now, some of you may not think it's plausible, or of course, some of you may think that they wouldn't do something like this for 0.2. I mean, put something in there, of course, to try and test it for Kingdom Hearts 3. But we already know that combos and magic have also gotten a kind of revamp that actually got confirmed I think with the release of the trailer we got a scan that confirmed from I think jump that of course the combos and magic have a new way of like kind of interlacing together to come up with new strategies I'm guessing but I'm pretty sure it's going to be something still close to birth by sleep because that's the you know core of what the combat is based on again this is the perfect opportunity for them to try new things so here's the shakedown of what I believe is going on I believe this return of customization is going to be dedicated to Kingdom Hearts 3 not only to give fans responses but because this will be a way of how they're going to pretty much be able to allow people to create their own special looking Sora for Kingdom Hearts 3's multiplayer or for Kingdom Hearts 3's of course our own little characters that may come from our Kingdom Hearts 3 characters I've spoken about that before and I think this is just something that's going to kind of like test it out and see how people react to it now this has been in discussion on this channel before but we've never had any actual leads just statements from the mirror that can be summed up as we aren't 100% but we're brainstorming so we know something's brewing what square will remedy up will hopefully be something promising more promising than a birth by sleep multiplayer which wasn't bad at all but it wasn't anything skill based it was honestly just who had the better level who had the better keyblades and who had the better magic that decided who would win the fights hopefully we'll get a light kingdom hearts dissidia in kingdom hearts 3 which would explain all the battle options or possessed that we've seen thus far but I've already touched on that topic but obviously it's going to be pretty interesting to see how they're going to integrate this stuff but this has been your boy Mazi you don't forget to do a little A class gaming and everything you do don't forget to keep it A class I hope you guys enjoyed the little analysis and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one peace the heck out